day feels like being a college student is not easy at all. You constantly feel like you need more, more, and more time. But let's face it, we only have 24 hours in a day, and that's all the time we have in order to do the schoolwork, maintain a social life, and sleep in order to prepare for the next day. But have no fear, because Yoram is here! Hi, my name is Yoram, and I'm here to help you get more things done by sleeping better. So first, let's take a closer look at what you're doing wrong in order to improve your sleeping habit. So here's your start to your typical day. Always late for your morning classes. Wait, what? You sleep on the floor? Go get yourself a bed! Yeah, we're all poor as college students, but your health is more important than saving up money for that awesome video game that comes out in a couple months. So it is important that you create a cool, comfortable sleeping environment so you don't wake up in the middle of the night from discomfort and free of distractions that may make you anxious when you're trying to sleep. Remember, the quality of your sleep matters just as much as the amount of sleep you get. And your day goes on. Oh, there's the only thing that you're doing correctly. Yes, exercise regularly. Exercising in the afternoon can keep your body from getting drowsy when your alertness is supposed to decrease based on your circadian cycle. So try to do some type of physical activity every day. But if you are having trouble sleeping at night, don't exercise close to your bedtime. So what do you do after you play tennis? You eat. That much? I know you're hungry, but you also have to think about your sleep. Close to your bedtime, your metabolism slows down as your body tries to relax. However, a large meal at night forces your body to do the opposite and can make it more difficult for you to fall asleep. Oh, but you plan on sleeping late, so you drink a can of Monster. That's another big no-no. Energy drinks contain various stimulants that will keep you awake at night even when you are done with your work and want to go to bed. So avoid drinks that contain caffeine such as coffee, energy drink, and soda unless you want to mess up your sleep schedule. Oh, and I'm really sorry to tell you this, but chocolate also has some caffeine. So hot chocolate, instead of being a relaxing bedtime drink, may interfere with your sleep as well. Some of you might think smoking is cool. However, not only is tobacco extremely unhealthy, but it also affects your sleep architecture and prevents you from deep sleep. Therefore, the quality of your sleep declines if you smoke. Alcohol is another substance that negatively affects the sleep architecture by preventing REM sleep. And you don't want to miss out on rapid eye movement because it is associated with emotional functioning, memory consolidation, and neural and synaptic pruning. Now here's the main reason for why your sleep is so messed up. You are awake playing video games when you should have been sleeping. Relieving one's stress is important, but not at 3 a.m. According to a study by Ware and others in 2003, an average person's sleep need is 8.15 hours. And this doesn't go lower just because you are used to sleeping less than 8 hours. Also, according to a study by you and others in 2007, lack of sleep interferes with our brain's ability to make new memory. So it seems that we must get enough sleep in order to do well in school. Sadly, many people only choose one of the options. This is why time management is so important. If you spend your time wisely, you can get your work done faster and still get enough sleep most of the time. Of course, it isn't easy, but it certainly isn't impossible. One simple thing you can do is to always wake up at the same time, even if you don't have any morning classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays. This way, your body's circadian cycle will stay constant and you'll have more energy during the time you're awake and have efficient sleep at night. So we just went over some tips for healthy sleep. But you're still feeling crummy in the morning? That's because of sleep inertia. Kind of like Newton's first law, sleep inertia is our bodies wanting to stay asleep when it is first awakened. It is a perfectly normal feeling during our body's transition between sleep and awakefulness. So what can you do to get through sleep inertia? The Rise Up Routine! The Rise Up Routine consists of six activities you can do to escape sleep inertia faster. R is for refrain from snoozing. When you snooze, you aren't getting any quality sleep, so you might as well get up and start your day. So when the alarm goes off, turn it off and get out of bed. I is for increased activity. Do physical activities that can get the blood flowing through the body. 
When your core temperature increases, sleepiness will go away. S is shower or wash face and hands. This works because cool surface temperature is linked to alertness. Next is expose yourself to sunlight. Your circadian rhythm is closely related to light. Sunlight will increase your alertness level. U is for upbeat music. Play your favorite song and maybe dance to it. You'll surely be awake by now. Finally, phone a friend. Engaging in a conversation is a great way to counteract sleep inertia. Remember, set and stick to a sleep schedule, exercise regularly, create a cool, comfortable sleeping environment, avoid caffeinated drinks, tobacco, chocolate, and large meals at night, and use the rise up routine. Do these things, and you can do well at school. Yeah! And still have enough energy left to have fun. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.